Let's say we're asked to multiply x minus 5 by x plus 5. We can do this by what we learned in the previous section on multiplication of polynomials. We can distribute the x into the x plus 5, and we can distribute the negative 5 into x plus 5 as well. Distributing the x into both of these terms will give us x squared plus 5x, and then distributing the negative 5 into x will give us a negative 5x, negative 5 times 5 will give us a negative 25. Here we notice that when we combine like terms, these two terms will cancel each other out, one being a positive and the other being a negative, leaving behind just x squared minus 25. If we wanted to use the shortcut to do this, we could just recognize that this is really just a sum and a difference. It doesn't matter which term is written first. As long as you have one term with a minus and one with a plus, we can use the sum and a difference formula, which means that this product is going to be simply the difference of squares. As we discussed in a previous video, we square the first term, which is x, minus we square the second term, which is 5. Well, the square of x will simply be x squared, and the square of 25, I'm sorry, the square of 5 will be 25. And you'll notice that this is the exact same answer we got previously. So you can use the shortcut, or you can multiply it out term by term. However, recognize that the shortcut will give the answer much faster with a lot less work.